Inside Discovery. I'm Samara, Emma, Richie, and Anaisa will be joining us in a bit. This is the Discovery School News. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Here are the announcements for the week of the 23rd through the 27th, 2024. The Media Club will be meeting this week from 2.40 to 3.40. We will be preparing the announcements and scheduling for our next interview. Teachers, please nominate a student for our Scorpion of the Week so we, so we can recognize them. The Robotics Club will be meeting this Tuesday in Room 808 from 2.40 to 3.40 and start building our new theme, Submerged, th this week. This week, please have a ride ready to pick you up at 345 Sharp. The Sting Podcast meets this Thursday at 2.40 to 3.40. The team will continue to prepare for our science of dreams. Please meet at 2.40 in the courtyard. Today we have a special guest. Can anyone guess who it is? Ooh, I got a guess. What's your guess, Mr. Chica? Um, Mr. Bill. Who's that? Bill Nye? I don't know. Here. Can uh, I take a guess? Sure. The Rock. The Rock. Nah, no, we're not that famous. Um, Our principal. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you so much. I am so excited to be back on the announcements. Once again, this year, I am your principal, Miss Size, and I just wanted to jump in and interrupt this lovely broadcast because I have some really exciting news to share with you all. So hopefully you remember that last year, Discovery School was like the champions of attendance because we know that being at school is so, so important, and that's why like we're pretty awesome. We did so great last year that every single month, Discovery School won best attendance for the in, out of the entire district for the entire year except for the last month of last year. We did not win for the month of May. Horizon School beat us. They had better attendance that month and we're very happy for them. But this is a new year and we are in, in a new month and guess what? I am excited to share that the Scorpions have once again taken the trophy. So guys, this is very serious. This means business. This means we all need to come to school every single day unless we're really sick. And then we will win every single month this year. So that's our goal. Come to school. I look forward to seeing here, you here every single day. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Size. The Band and Composition Club with Mr. G will be meeting this Tuesday and Thursday after school. Be ready to rock as hard as the warning and drop some killer tracks. Third grade tutoring with Ms. Lopez is this Tuesday and Thursday from 2.45 to 3.45. Sixth through eighth grade Lexia English after school tutoring with Ms. Ayanos will be held every Tuesday and Thursday until you are so well learned that even Damaris Ayanos will be dumbfounded and asked to be tutored by you. After school tutoring for math and reading with Miss Rowe will be held on Tuesday and Fridays from 2.45 to 3.45. Tutoring is available for sixth grade students who wish to dominate their peers on their benchmarks. Drama Club will, will continue to meet on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Remember to practice your lines and read through your um, scripts as we'll be getting ready to work on our play. Young Authors meets Monday and Thursday this week from 2.45 to 3.45. Just, just a reminder, students need to be able to attend club meetings at least once per week. No, I think we're gonna keep No! Yeah, we're gonna keep Sixth grade math tutoring with Ms. Hamilton meets this Monday after school. This is open to any students who need help. And feels Emma, like need what does she know about puppets anyways? It would be amazing. I'll show her. I'll show all of them. 
Attention first graders, Ms. Acapella's first grade tutoring will be meeting this Tuesday and Friday. Tuesday and Friday, Tuesday and Thursday this week. Get ready to hold those thumbs up high in the air with all that learning that you can do. The Steam Gamers with Miss Barron is meeting this week from Tuesday and Thursday with fifth through eighth graders. Looking forward to see all of you guys there. The undefeated boys football team Woo! starts the starts their playoff run Monday, four forty five at Desert Spirit. Good luck, and come out and support the team if you can. Excellent. Soccer tryouts are coming up for both boys and girls and boys in sixth through eighth grade. Keep your eyes and ears out for tryout dates coming up. You can get a permission slip from Mr. Clark starting next Monday. Student Council will, be, will start selling smensels for $1 at before and after school in the courtyard with the, scorp with the scorpion. So break open that piggy bank and start spending that hard earned money to stimulate our lagging economy. It's time to play our guessing game titled Fact or Fiction. So we are going to give you three statements and you have to guess if they are fact or fiction. So make sure you guess loud, out loud. It doesn't count if you don't. You big cheaters! Yeah, cheaters! Yeah. <laughs> Number one, fact or fiction. The longest game of Monopoly lasted for 30 days. Oh, 30 days, that's a long fiction. time. Fact! I'm gonna fiction! Say, I'm gonna say fact as well. Well, this is unfortunately fiction. But here is a fact about Monopoly that you might not have known. In 1983, 350 underwater divers played a Monopoly tournament for 1,080 hours, which is the same as 45 days. Number two, fact or fiction, the most famous board game is Clue. Fiction. Fact. Oh, I, that's a pretty popular fact. game. I'm going to say fact. 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 Okay. Well, you're wrong. This is fiction. The best-selling board game of all time is chess. It has been one of the best board games to play around the world since it was first introduced in the 6th century in India. The total number of chess sets sold since the game's introduction is unknown, but more than 3 million sets are still sold yearly in the United States alone. And to finish out our board game related theme, number three, fact or fiction, the original game of life featured spaces for suicide, disgrace, Poverty and prison. What? Fact. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hoping that's fiction. <laughs> well, sorry, Mr. Seiko. This is fact! The original game of life was depressing. Really depressing. I need that one. <laughs> when we think of the game of life, the candy colored 1950s and 60s versions comes to mind, featuring the glossy American dream of buying a house, piling kids in the car, and becoming a millionaire. But it wasn't always that way. The game of life is more than 150 years old, and its earlier versions were very, very different. The goal wasn't to be a millionaire, but simply to live a good life, and that included the risk of suffering some incredible, depressing consequences, like suicide or poverty, sadly. Birthdays, here are the birthdays of the week. On Monday, Geneva Begay Oka has her birthday. On Tuesday, our own Mrs. Estrada turns 25. <gasps> Make sure you let her know how, how young she is. On Wednesday, Emily Laranaga celebrates her birthday. On Thursday, Anthony Sebastian Neri and Leilani Losa have birthdays. On Friday, our own Mrs. Nikki turns the big 3-0 and Miss Walton turns 21 years young. Also, Daniel Ontiveros Hernandez and Sang family have birthdays. Happy birthday, everyone. For the Scorpions of the Week, Matthew got the chance to interview some of our our Discovery cheerleaders for their outstanding work. Matthew? 
Thanks, Anissa. We are in the studio to recognize Ariella, Ariana, and Kate, and Kate for their amazing cheerleader work at the at Discovery. Thanks for the interview today, girls. Thanks, Thanks for having us. We've been always impressed f- with with your team over the years. How do you you continue to be such organized and prepared team? We um we we. We um we practice a lot and we stretch a lot and we also have to hit our moves so like we're not going all sloppy and everywhere and we make sure to remember our cheers so we don't have to sit out during any of our games when we're playing so we can also have have fun what do you need to become a cheerleader here? Do you have to have a loud voice, or be athletic, or no gymnastics? Well, you have to be really loud, and uh, you have to be like you have to be able to stretch and to like be flexible. I guess, yeah. Does anyone anyone know gymnastics here? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows it. Do you guys know how to? Do you guys have a cheer competition each year? If so, how do you guys usually do? This is our second year. Last year we won, so we kind of want to keep our winning streak up by practicing a lot throughout the year. Thanks again, girls, and keep up the present work. Back to you in the studio. Nice interview, but that is unfortunately the last bit of the news for this week. Remember, we are Discovery. We're the feel the sting. We're the T stands for taking responsibility. Have a good week. Why is it so bald? I thought I had an apple. There's no telling